Hi guys, welcome to another video and today we're going to be looking at half-life. Now, I want to introduce you guys to a new term which we call activity. Now, the activity of a radioactive sample is the number of decays that happen per second. And activity is measured in a unit called Baccarat, or quite simply just BQ. So let's say this is our radioactive sample, um, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we have eight radioactive atoms. These are also known as the parent atoms. Now, as these radioactive atoms start to decay and release radiation, they will turn into stable atoms. And as you can see that as these atoms start to decay, the activity of the sample will start to decrease. We can monitor the activity of this sample using a diagram counter. And you remember from previous videos that the Geiger counter will click every time one of these parent atoms decay. just want to add at this point that this process is completely random. You cannot control nuclear decay. Now that brings us onto a term called half-life. And there are two definitions for half-life that you guys need to know. The first one is the amount of time it takes for the number of radioactive nuclei to half, or the time it takes for the count rate to half. So let me give you guys an example of a question that you may face. And the first one is here. It says a radioactive sample has a half-life of 20 days. So every 20 days, half of the radioactive atoms are decaying. So if we had 100 atoms, how many radioactive atoms would be left after 60 days? Well, let's start off with what we know. We know that we started with 100 radioactive atoms, and after 20 days, the number of radioactive atoms would half to 50. Another 20 days, so now we're talking 40 days, the number of radioactive atoms would half again to 25 radioactive atoms. And after our 60 days, after one more half-life, we would be left with 12.5 radioactive atoms. And that's how we can work out how many atoms are, are remaining after a given half-life. You guys could also be given a graph in your exam. Um, and on the graph, count rate um, is put on the y-axis. And the, hot, and the time is given on the x-axis. Well, what this graph is showing me is that I started with a thousand count rates per minute. Now, we want to know the half-life. So, how long did it take to drop from a thousand to five hundred? And all you guys have to do is we just read across the graph. So this sample had a half-life of two days. Okay guys, thanks for tuning in. Stay in touch with the video.